Hello my dear students. So today in this video, we will going to solve the applied science section of an, a diploma CT 2019 examination. So this applied science section is common to all the branch students. The same questions will be asked for all the branches. So the first so, question in applied science section is one of the basic unit in SI is the right answer is option 4 that is ampere. So there are seven basic quantities from which all other SI units are derived. And these seven quantities are seconds for time, meter for length, kilogram for mass, ampere for current, Kelvin for temperature, mole for amount of substance and candle for luminous of intensity. So these are the seven basic quantities from which any SI units can be derived. So among these options, ampere is a one basic quantity so that is a right answer the next question is the pitch of a screw is half mm the number of divisions on the head scale screw gauge is 50 the least count of a screw gauge is the right answer is option 3 that is 0.01 mm so how do you calculate this least count least count can be calculated by using a formula pitch screw divided by number of divisions on the head scale so already it is given that is pitch screw is 0.5 divided by number of divisions it is given 50. So it is 0.5 divided by 50 will be equal to 0.01 mm. 0.01 mm. So the right answer is option 3. The next question is which one of the following is a vector quantity? The right answer is option 3 that is velocity. So what is this vector quantity? A vector quantity is a physical quantity which has both direction as well as magnitude. So velocity of an object is a ratio of change of its position with respect to the frame of a reference and it is a function of time. So it has both magnitude as well as direction. The next question is the magnitude of a resultant of two forces P and Q acting perpendicular to the each other is the right answer is option one that is the resultant force will be root of p square plus q square the next question is the force of 50 newton acts at a point making an angle of 30 degree with a horizontal the vertical component is the right answer is option two that is 25 newton so the vertical component is obtained by resolving the forces now if you resolve the forces you will get sin 30 degree so it is at an angle of 30 so you need to consider sin 30 so the force is 50 if you multiply 50 into sin 30 you will get 25 newton the next question is a couple produces the right answer is option 2 that is pure rotational motion so a couple produces a pure rotational motion the next question is the resultant of two like parallel forces acts in the direction of the right answer is option one. So the resultant of two like parallel forces always acts in the same direction of the two forces in which those two forces are acting in the same direction the resultant force will be acting. The next question is the reciprocal of bulk modulus of elasticity is the right answer is option one that is compressibility so compress so what is this bulk modulus the bulk modulus is a given as the ratio of pressure applied to the corresponding relative decrease in a volume of an a material so the reciprocal of an a bulk modulus will be compressibility the next question is a steel wire has a cross sectional area of 0 0.05 meter square if the maximum stress of an a steel wire is 1000 Newton per meter square the force is the right answer is option 2 that is 50 Newton so we know that the stress can be given as force divided by area so already we have cross sectional area and stress if you cross multiply stress into area you will get a force that is 1000 into 0 0.05 meter square so if you multiply that value you will get a 50 Newton the next question is the pressure at a point on the surface of an liquid is the right answer is option 3 that is 0 because so 
at the surface of a liquid the pressure can be anything depending on what is above the liquid surface for example if there is nothing on the liquid surface we consider it as in a vacuum so then the pressure will be zero if on a water surface there is a air is present on that water surface so then the pressure on that air surface will be atmospheric pressure so in this question there is no clear mention of whether anything is there on the surface so we can we assume it as in a vacuum is there on the surface so the pressure will be zero and the next question is the pressure exerted by in a sea water of a density 1025 kg per meter cube on a fish at a depth of 10 meter and assume gravitational constant as a 10 meter per square the right answer is option 4 that is 102.5 kilo pascal that is 102.5 kilo pascal so we know that the pressure on any surface or any body is given by pressure is equals to rho g into h so where rho is a density of a liquid g is a gravitational constant and h is a height of a or height or a depth of a that particular object now in the equation all the three values are given if you add if you multiply all the three equations you will get a 102 that is 102.5 kilo pascal the next question is a drop of a rain assumes a spherical shape due to the right answer is option 3 that is surface tension so what is this surface tension surface tension is a tendency of a liquid surface to shrink into the minimum surface area so the rain water or a rain drop will be assumed as a spherical shape due to the surface tension the next question is the phenomena of rise or fall of a liquid in a capillary tube is the right answer is option 2 that is capillarity so the phenomena is called capillarity so capillarity is a rise or depression of a liquid in a small passage such as a tube of a small cross sectional area so that is known as capillarity and its SI unit is Newton per meter so please keep that in mind the SI unit of capillarity is Newton per meter the next question is the SI unit of coefficient of viscosity is the right answer is option 1 that is Newton second per meter square the next question is the expression that represents the Boyle's law is the right answer is option 1 that is PV is equals to constant now what is this Boyle's law so Boyle's law states that so the pressure of a given mass of an ideal gas is inversely proportional to its volume at a constant temperature so that is a definition of Boyle's law so it can be mathematically it is represented as PV is equals to constant then the next question is the volume of a gas at 30 degrees Celsius is 2 liters what a temperature of a gas must be heated for its volume to become 4 liters at a constant pressure the right answer is option 3 that is 333 degrees Celsius now we know that the volume of the gas increases with the increase in the temperature and a vice versa. Now in this equation T1 and V1 is already given that is T1 is 30 degrees Celsius and V1 is 2 liters. And T2 we need to identify whereas V2 is already given that is volume at case condition 2 that is 4 liters. Now from equation we have an equation that is V2 divided and we have an equation that is V2 divided by V1 will be equals to T2 divided by T1. Now from this equation if you substitute all the known terms from the equation from the numerical statement so you will get a final temperature that is T2 that is 606 Kelvin so 606 Kelvin minus 273 you will get a degree Celsius that will be 333 degree Celsius so the right answer is option 3 that is 333 degree Celsius. The next question is the working of pressure cooker is based on the principle of the right answer is option 4 that is Gay-Lewis's law. So the gas the cooker gas works on the principle of Gay-Lewis's law. So what is this Gay-Lewis's law? It states that the pressure of a given mass of a gas varies directly with the absolute temperature of a gas when volume is kept constant and it is mathematically it is written as K will be equals to P divided by T. So as we all know that so cooker we close the cooker top 
and the volume will be restricted only the pressure and the temperature will going to change in that cooker so the volume will be fixed so that is a galuska's law the next question is land and sea breeze is an example of the right answer is option 2 that is convection a convection is a mode of heat transfer in which the heat is transferred from one system to another system or one body to another system with the help of an some medium so this medium might be any fluid either air or liquid so that is a convection the next question is the measure of average kinetic energy of all particles in a gas is the right answer is option 1 that is heat so the average kinetic energy of a gas particle is proportional to the absolute temperature of a gas so uh, if you measure the heat so then we'll get a some average kinetic energy of a all gas particles and the next question is when a wave travels through a medium the particle of the medium r the right answer is option 3 so the mean position remains same so when wave travels through a some medium the particles of the mediums are mean position means the mean position of those particles will remains the same 